guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another no bs video by no bs i mean no backstory no bullsh <laughs> so today's video is going to be about the eco flow delta pro ultra it was not sponsored by eco flow so i'm not one of those youtubers that's being paid by these guys to talk about this stuff nor is the other company that i'm about to show you so let me cut to the chase i purchased this generator uh during milton to uh, serve as a backup generator to my house, which performed absolutely flawlessly. So I have nothing bad to say about this generator in particular, but I do have something bad to say about it with regard to um, some of the marketing behind it. And um, my personal experience with it with regard to my refrigerator, um, I, I had this running during Milton and after Milton, my refrigerator started this, beep, started this beeping thing that never seemed to resolve itself and then eventually about a month later and we got uh, technical support to come out they said something was wrong with some inverter not inverter but some um electronics piece on the board so they were saying um were you running the house on a generator yes i was um what was it i said it was this model they said yeah that's considered a home backup generator so you know all good under warranty everything was fine but more research and you can see i'm in the middle of doing a, a massive <laughs> youtube video series here so a um, little more research and finding out that the Duromax line of generators, conventional style, non-inverter, are producing a very high amount of total harmonic distortion, somewhere between 12 and 20%. You can't really find an exact answer. I called Duromax and talked to their customer service representative, and he said they typically hum around 15 to 20% total harmonic distortion, which is very concerning to me given that the fact that they're selling these things as home backup generators and i mean unless you're living under a rock you definitely have modern electronics in your house that are plugged into your outlets um like refrigerators some of the modern washing machines anything that uses a circuit board which is pretty much everything now to be controlled this is technically not suitable for it so i don't really know how they're calling this a home backup solution now the point of this video is to show that this generator um, does not charge an EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. So this is pretty much, you know, I could put a sine wave, um, an oscilloscope on here and look at the sine wave, which I've done before, and it is dirty-ish. Um, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's, you can see the noise in the, in the sine wave, um, but it's probably better. I'm talking more of a practical um, scenario here. So let's fire it up. Let's show you what it does to the Delta Pro Ultra, and then I'll show you what this one does to the Delta Pro Ultra. So. Let's give it a, win, a spin here. Oh, battery on, duh. Showing that the Hertz are 59. I'll show you how to adjust that too. Right around 60 Hertz. So I'm going to show you what this error looks like on the screen. So you can see what it did there. It's showing a low input frequency and I've done it. I've brought this thing all the way up to almost 70 Hertz, all the way down to 55 Hertz. I've thrown it at that EcoFlow and it's continuously telling me that there is either a voltage error or a total harmonic distortion frequency, you know, type of problem. So I decided, well, that's not gonna work. So I went to Gen Max and purchased this thing for I don't know, almost $1,500, $1,300, I can't remember how much it was. 
and I was not paid by these guys either. And I thought, you know what? The, the Ultra can charge at almost 7,000 watts. This thing has a, a 7,000 watt continuous on propane, which is what I choose to run all these on because I'm tired of the gas messing up carburetors. So I figure if I can let this sing right around 5,000 to keep the load balanced proper on this thing, it should be a pretty viable solution as a big battery charger when the Generac fails again, which I know it will. So you're gonna live with me here and make these video, the videos that nobody makes on YouTube, this tends to be what I make now, um, non-sponsored. And we're gonna run this bad boy. And this is a cold engine. So you're gonna get an experience too about how this thing works. So let's go to wide, Gen Max 10,500. This thing sings like a Banshee. It's not as quiet as that Duramax. It's half the price of their boxed up inverter generator. So. Voltage is at 240, breakers off, main switch is on. Let's give it a spin. I'm gonna turn low idle to off. Look at that Hertz. The nice thing about it is the inverter doesn't bounce it up and down. Let's give EcoFlow. I got it set to 1800 right now. Let's give it a, a charge. Working fine. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this to take 6,000 watts. Now we're, we're making that generator really go, but 6,000 watts going in. So you can see here that this, the inverter generators just give it the, that clean, low total harmonic distortion, um, you know, under 3% is what they say with these inverter generators, which are the safer bet. Now, while I'm making this video, this is not going to be my big video, but I figured while I had all these out, I'll talk about what's going on if you've stuck around this far. If you're buying any kind of sensitive battery backup system and plan on charging it with a conventional generator which why wouldn't you unless you have a massive solar array on your house you got to stick with the inverter stuff but there was one conventional generator that i found that can handle charging at a consistent 7,000 watts there's another youtuber on there that's doing it um even on propane this is the peak watts is 10,500 on propane so running it at about 7,000 keeps the load where you want it to it's this westinghouse now I'm having a little bit of a problem with this. That's why it's not really in this video. That's why I didn't make this whole generator video right now. This arrived dead on arrival. The entire uh, crankshaft is locked up. So I know there's no shipping things in here. I've taken the, the recoil starter off there and rotated it, tried to rotate it by hand. And I mean, it is hard to turn. So something's happened to this. So this is a conventional generator with a total harmonic distortion level of less than 5%, which when I'm done making my video series here and I finally figure out that these things aren't pieces of garbage, I'm gonna show a compare and contrast in between the two conventional style generators that are in the $1,500 price arena that are gonna run your, your whole house air conditioning systems and tell you why don't not to buy this until they fix that harmonic distortion issue and to buy this because a lot of the new air conditioners nowadays too have a board in them. so. We'll get to that, but this is another one that can do it. 
And then the other question I got in the last video is, well, what about Smart Generator 4000 and Smart Generator 3000, which I've bought into this stuff too. This can only charge at 1800 watts. This can only charge at 1800 watts when you're talking about the Ultra. And the reason is the only outputs that this thing has on it, this is the bigger one, is an RV 30 amp outlet and a typical 20 amp outlet, which can only do 1800 watts. Same with that one. You can get 3,200 watts out of this, 33, 32, if you do DC charging, but the DC charging adapter only is equivalent with the Delta Pro 3. So they're probably gonna release another smart generator, fourth 5,000 or whatever for the Ultra that'll do what these are doing, but who knows when that's happening. And you know, you're still, I'm in Florida and you're still dealing with an enclosed generator, which you have to think about heat, so. This video is a little bit about everything, you know, kind of what my big video was gonna be, but I wanted to show conventional generator charging on the Ultra is really only gonna be possible on an inverter style generator. You're gonna be hard pressed to find, unless you're up there in the, in the top of the line Honda stuff, which I still haven't tested. You're gonna be hard pressed to find anything with less than 10% total harmonic distortion that's readily available for under $2,000. So, um, the Gen Max, I've done my research. The Gen Max, this 10,500 XIT is, is damn near the same as their $2,500 counterpart, which is basically, I think, the same thing packaged into a, a box, basically, which is going to keep it quieter because these, these engines scream like a banshee when they're running. It's definitely, you know, it's almost like the equivalent of a two stroke lawn boy back in the day when you were mowing and the new Honda <laughs> mowers. It's definitely got a nice throatier, deeper exhaust tone than this. This thing's a rappy, but it's, it, you, see, you see what it does. I mean, it produces a nice clean power to, to get back into your sensitive electronics and then obviously ultimately turn it back off when you're done. Also, one thing to know too, if you stuck around this long, that's the wrong bottle on this generator. That's the wrong bottle on this generator. And that's the wrong bottle on that generator. You're gonna need 40 pounds, 60 pound minimum on any of these because with my, ex my experience in running this XP 13,000 on a barbecue size propane tank, it, the whole damn thing turned into ice after about an hour and a half. So what happens is the regulator freezes up, it prevents the flow of propane and it's done. So you need a, you know, ideally 200 pound bottles um, on a manifold that'll take care of your whole house if you're not gonna do the whole battery backup thing. But again, the problem with that is, is just doing the generator thing is that you gotta to listen to this all day long to keep fueling it all day long just to keep the, air, the, the, the refrigerators and stuff cold. So that's my tangent on that. But Delta Pro Ultra, not gonna work with the Duramax line of non-inverter generators. Duramax makes a hell of a nice inverter style <laughs> generator five grand you know for the 17,000 or 2,500 or three grand for the 11,000 the enclosed box setups I mean they make a, a solid product I think in terms of like durability startability engine craftsmanship you can feel it kind of when you you know the action of it when you pull that crank you can you can definitely feel that the internals are, are nice but they got to get that distortion level worked out on these things before they advertise them as whole home backup solutions because I, I know most people have sensitive electronics in their house. So, all right, guys, if this video helped you, no, no BS style, just kind of showing you the deal here. I went on a little bit of a backstory, unfortunately, but this helped you guys. Thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for getting me to 100,000 subscribers. And my next big video here is going to be kind of contrasting all of these generators. What I think about this one and this one, when it's working, as far as where to put your $1,500, because you're going you're gonna to place it into this, you're going to place it into that. You get the advantage of an inverter here, but you get the advantage of a lot more power out of this non-inverter. You know, you're going to have a lot more or a lot less engine strain to produce an equivalent amount of power under load. So I want to kind of do that video um, you know, and I'm not going to be walking around with a decibel meter. Oh, this is 71 decibels. This is 65. They're all f loud. They all sound like lawnmowers out here. So, I mean, unless you get into these little things, which, you know, they're enclosed and they're in boxes, they're all loud. It sounds like there's a generator here. You know I mean? You're not going to, your neighbor's not going to come over and go, wow, that's a, a quieter than my gen. You know, come on, waste of time. 
they're all loud. That's the louder out of all of them. I haven't heard this one, unfortunately. Maybe I'll fix this this week. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, thumbs up if you liked it. I'll put some links down below, some affiliate links on where I got um, this generator and this generator on Amazon. If you want to check them out, um, check them out. I'll also put a link down below to this generator cord. I really like this cord. It's very solid and robust, and I got a pretty good deal on that. So I'll put a link down below to that too. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll get you in the next one. Later.